Battle at the Bar 2020, episode four. Commissioner Cox, what an episode last week. Just at the end of the episode, Ash Draven was, you know, delivering a message straight to our heavyweight champion, Will Cruz. And then just at the end of the episode, Alexander Roth was standing just out of that entranceway. I mean, something's gonna go down, and I don't something's know the way how things are gonna go. definitely look. gonna go down, but right now, I need to make a sharp exit, so, Jake. You're more than capable. I'm leaving it to you. It's fine by me, boss. You know, it's been absolutely unbelievable the past couple of episodes of Battle of the Bars 2020. Of course, in difficult times like these, we're bringing the, the fun, we're bringing the entertainment to you. And as I just stated, trying to talk to Ash Draven last week, the current number one contender to the World War Wrestling Heavyweight Championship, he's sent out a message time and time again to the War Beast, Will Cruz. We're literally just waiting a response from Will Cruz. We don't know when the match will actually happen, but more importantly, I wanted to get down to what happened last week between Ash Draven and Alexander Roth. I mean, I <laughs> time Mr. Roth but I just want to say after what happened on last week's episode it seems quite clear that you want to send a message to the current number one contender Ash Draven more important things to do that's what Ash Draven said more important things to do. Hmm. All right, well, I need saying done. With that, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for another his historic moment in the history of Battle at the Barns. Let's take you to a flashback, the first ever match that ever took place in the Barns. We're going to take you to the henchman versus Richard Parliament and Officer Rogers. Take it away. very much Commissioner. Now we are going to get on with the very first match of this evening. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and it is a tag team match. Introducing the first team. Come on in, Nick Diaz, start talking. What, you don't know how to talk? Wonderful. You see that thing at the top there? Start talking. Honestly, I'll do this fast part, okay? I'm a pro. It's fine. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to World War Wrestling's Battle at the Advance. I can hear you, Dan. Don't you worry about that. Let's just go on with the show, shall we? That's Richard Parliament, indeed it is there, young Diaz. And he has brought us along some hired help. Why don't you talk to me about Richard Parliament? You're a pro at this, right? Oh, you've got to love Richard Parliament. You've 
You've got to love Richard Pollock. He's such a limey. He's, well, he's your typical politician, really, isn't he? Uh, absolutely. He's an upstanding member of the community. A member of Parliament, some might say. A wonderful chap. Well, as far as I've been told, he is actually the only politician wrestler. Am I right? Yes, yes, he is. Because, you see, not many members of Parliament actually have the kahunas to stand by their policies to the point where they would fight to prove that their policies... This guy, this guy does more than just write words. This guy writes poetry in motion to quote a wrestling comment and phrase that is overused and has now been used today. This guy is all about the action and not just about talking. But because he's a lovely gentleman, he's going to give us some words right now. But all that tells me... Hello! All that tells me, Dan, is he's got a very good propaganda manager. Shh! I am Richard Parliament! The UK's only wrestling politician. Yes, he is. A wonderful and that's chap. that's exactly the kind of reaction I'd expect from a bunch of farmer Suffolk dole-claiming scum. <laughs> I'm only joking. First thing I of the evening. I am the future prime minister Typical politician. of this country. It's true. And I have a few policies for you now. I, I want to hear them, sir. For a start, I can hear many I think you're the only one rude, here that does. disrespectful children. Yes, yeah, far too many children for my liking. So I'd like to give you all a better education. He's education, clearly a very brave education, man, though, bringing yes, Rogers with him. sending you to school seven days a week, every week. Yeah! yeah. No. Man in all the school holidays. Yeah! yeah. Come along, sing along with me. And I also can see many fat, overweight, disgusting people here tonight. He does realise the people that would vote for him so if he's a nice guy, right? NHS spending, I want to ban all chips, sweets, burgers, alcohol, lollipops and all other forms of junk food. Yeah! He says all this, but his security is really not in shape. He's not bad, there but it looks like he's had a burger or two. Smell of B.O. in here. Our fine government provides you with water, so why don't you use it? You're all fat and disgusting, every single one of you. You make me sick. I hate fat people so bloody much. Sick. Ladies and gentlemen, someone called the heavies because the henchmen are here and I might not necessarily agree with a number of things that they are. Uh, oh my god, the stench. They've been in the gym for too long and they, uh, they haven't showered since. Don't they know about gym etiquette? That man's called Jim Diehard. You'd think he'd know these things. Shut your mouth! <laughs> you see, I'm quite a big fan of the unit, to be honest. <laughs> You're a big fan of the unit. Yes, the henchmen are very, very good. I mean, they're the henchmen for good reason. I mean, look at them. Yep, they're, they're no, I'm not going to um, take away from them because if I said anything negative about them and they listen to uh, World War Wrestling DVD commentary, which I'm sure they're doing right now, hello sirs, um, I must say your new ring gear um, is smashing. Uh, and also you're going for the... Uh, the the, uh, the knee pads under the knees there I see yes um, I am a big fan of people who um, are brave and bold with their um, you know their 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 their, uh, their their fashion decisions and at the end of the day you spend all that time in the gym to look as fabulous as you do and I respect you for it sirs and that's what I have to say about them. But they are. Back to you, Nate. It's Nick. Nick Calloway, not Nick Diaz. Nick Valliard. Uh, no. 
but they are very good at what they do. Who? The henchmen. The henchmen. Yes, but look at the size of Richard Parliament. He's clearly been in the gym a lot himself, you know. Oh, no, for sure. He is actually in yeah. very good shape. In very good shape. Oh, that was a stiff shot. That definitely knocked him leaping. You see, it may look like not much to you because that's how much strength, you know, the, the, the unit himself has, you know? Well, from what I can tell, the henchmen are just out and out power. I mean, look at them. Richard Parliament is a lot, he gives up a lot of power to the henchmen. You see, this is called mind games because you see, because he's a politician, he, he's, he's able to draw battle. Like, you see, wars aren't won by soldiers, they're won by those who develop the plans, who develop the strategies. And right now, we have the strategy unfolding before our very eyes. We're very privileged. We're here in the bunker, the safe house, where we cannot be injured, unlike the rest of the plebeians out there, the victims, the casualties of war. So what you're trying to say is, as a typical politician, Richard Parliament will send, essentially, the public, um, other people, to go and fight in wars for them. Is that right? Well, he's not stupid. He could die in a war fit. Use your brain. But his bodyguard is taking the abuse. That's, he's not he, just a bodyguard. He's a secure... He's more than that. You're simplifying the, the, war, the rules of war here. Okay? Okay, let me rephrase. He is apparently security, the personal bodyguard, and he's clearly a policeman. Okay? Yeah. But He's a member of the look, a politician, and uh, what we have here are fantastic civil servants. But these are the civil servants that would actually vote for Parliament if he wasn't the way he is. They aren't part of his constituency anyway. Well, so where is his constituency then? If he lives the tool shed, we'll give him the tool shed! They are. Interesting. They are just raw power. Who's raw power? Well, you're a bit big. The henchmen. Oh, right. I want to you're see. You're trying to take away from the, uh, from the opposing team. Oh, no, not at all. I'm interested very much to see what Officer Rogers can do. But he does give up height, clearly weight. What Officer Rogers can do, it's in his name. Oh, my God. It's like being with a child. But can when he a man fight? And a okay. This is war. You have to fight in war to survive. Yeah? Well, you, you, you don't just go in there willy-nilly, though. You have a plan. You mean like, apparently, the MP? MPs will yes. come up with plans. Yes. Which clearly his is to let Officer Rogers take the hit. I... And then... Hopefully, well, the only plan I can it's see. It's all part of the plan. So, what is the master plan then? Am I, am I Richard Parliament? No, I am not Richard Parliament. I am not, you know, the brilliant strategician that he is. Oh, there's the plan. There's the plan. I knew cheap it all shot. along. Take cheap out the, knee, the big guy. How is it a cheap? Is it illegal? Well, it's clearly not no, illegal. Is it illegal? It's, yes or no? That's just police brutality. Come on, be right like there. a member of parliament and answer a question straight. Yes or no? Was that illegal? It wasn't illegal. It wasn't illegal. Fantastic. So you, therefore, you want me to use the government, which, well. If that is our what I want you to do is government. just call what we're seeing here. What is this wrestling move? What is this wrestling move called? He is actually going for a step over toll hold. It was, it was not a step over toll hold, but nevertheless. Okay. Why am I not just doing this by myself? Commissioner Coxie, come on. Put, put Laura's wage on top of my wage. I'll, I'll do it myself, okay? It's nothing new. I can do this. Okay? Now we have a genius man in there. Look at this. You see... Do you know what I'd love to do? I'd love to pay, ouch. I'd love to pay to see Richard Parliament play chess. I bet you it's magnificent, okay? I bet you the moves. I bet you it's just seeing his plan unfold. I bet you it's just wonderful. 
You sound like his best friend, to be honest, then. I bet oh, you two I could wish talk I was for his hours. best friend, you know. Oh, the. I wouldn't have so many problems with various venues around the country, you know. There needs to be more people like Richard Parliament in office around the country, okay? The world would be a better place. It'd also be less noisy due to the fact that the children will be in school all the time. And right now we are seeing the destruction of the henchmen. You see, I knew this would happen. No, oh, no, they let him to his feet. You see, this is what ha this is because you see, Officer Rogers isn't doing what what he was supposed to do. You see, Richard Parliament instantly in the corner there and puts him straight back down, straight back on his backside, and is kicking him repeatedly. Again, all underhand. Fantastic, t fantastic strategician and tag team wrestling, but he has till five referee. But it's all underhand, like a typical politician. I mean. How is he supposed to get up or be able to walk? The punishment he took on his leg. Pardon? They must what? have taken oh, some yeah, sort no, of toll on him. What? But it was all underhand. Underhand? What are you on about? This is the war zone. At no point did someone, at no point did the country ever win a war and get accused of cheating by the other one. It's called war, sunshine. You do what you have to to survive. And that's what they're doing. But you fight the good fight. No, I don't. I don't even know what you're on about now. Talk about your rules. Talk well, I don't see you getting in there and doing this. I'm not paid to do so. On a, oh. Call the action here. Big leg drop there. That's going to take its toll on the already damaged leg. That was a stiff shot for sure. Some strength. Now that's illegal. That's illegal. Those are closed fists. Well, you know, if the ref doesn't you see, see it. I, heard, I don't know if you heard that right now, but I heard Richard Parliament on the outside say, single leg, single leg. And, and he said it in a way. In fact, what I understand he did, and when I say I heard it, I saw him say it with Morse code. You see, and, and because I can read Morse code, I heard it myself. And he Morse code single leg. And so naturally, Officer Rogers did what he was told, did the single leg takedown. And now, back on top is the team of Richard Parliament and Officer Rogers. Beautiful, beautiful wrestling here. They're on top at the moment, but anything can happen in the war zone. You, Any of all people, should know that. I, I, I do know that. I've been here from the start, Mr. Johnny Come Lately. Okay. Some of us show up for work for every show, unlike Laura. Why did Laura had problems. The fresh man in there. Oh no, no, no. This is all Officer Rogers' fault. This is why there's constantly cuts to the police force. Because we're getting morons like this. Raw power oh, there. Oh, big spine Beautiful. buster there. Beautiful. Oh no, no, no. Now that is against the look. That is bringing in another country that was nothing to do with this. That is what that the equivalent of. One more. Beautiful. Okay. Richard Parliament was in neutral territory there. Okay. He was Swiss. Okay. This is the war zone. This is the war zone. But you don't involve countries that... Watch some bloody news, boy. But you said to me anything happens. It's all about... Yeah, you don't just suddenly involve other countries that weren't part of it. No, 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 no! Look at that. He's going for the backstabber. Oh, no, 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 no. No, he's caught him. Here comes the strength. Big power slam. That's the strong... Rogers on the outside. I mean, yay. Well done, you henchmen, guys. They are listening. All I'm saying is that if Officer Rogers would have done his job, then this wouldn't have happened. You see, we were robbed, robbed of seeing a master plan unfold to its very finish because of the incompetence of our police force. I bet you he's not even a real policeman. I bet you he's lied. I bet you he's lied to RMP. I bet you he has. I bet you he has, Nate. I bet you he lies now. I bet you he's lying now. 
I bet you he's I bet you he's gonna rob him. I bet you that's what he's gonna do, he's gonna carry him to back and rob him. So it's not simply the fact that henchmen were just better on the day then. Hey guys, Nick Halloway here with your mid-season review of Battle of Advance 2020 essentially. In particular, the Sky Smithson story and the events that seem to be unfolding there. So week one, Sky Smithson comes out and starts firing off shots at Mercedes Blaze, our World War Wrestling Women's Champion, and taking issue with the Voodoo Queen Amara saying she's not scared of her. Anyway, so week two, the Voodoo Queen Amara comes back with her own promo, her own message to the villainess Sky Smithson. So that leads us to our main event of episode two. Sky Smithson, the villainess, versus the Voodoo Queen Amara. What a match that was. Ultimately, Voodoo Queen walking away with a victory, but what followed, what followed was Sky Smithson unleashing a horrific, heinous attack on the Voodoo Queen Amara. Let's have a look at those pictures now. So the reason for this attack was that Sky Smithson's foot was on the bottom rope and that final pinfall was counted, as the following pictures will show you, so it is documented now in World War Wrestling history. Now, while Sky Smithson, the villainess, has ground for the stain, the attack she unleashed was vicious, unnecessary. It left the Voodoo Queen Amara needing to be assessed by World War Wrestling's medical and safeguarding teams. Anyway, what ultimately happened was, by way of our MC, Jake Pugh, Sky Smithson demanded of Commissioner Cox a rematch. We received the following promo from Sky Smithson. Here we are, again. I'm being mistreated and underappreciated in this company. You see, it doesn't seem to get into people's heads that I am a superstar. I am determined to get that championship from Mercedes Blaze. I care more about it than she does. But the referees are so blind with their hatred that they don't see my foot clearly on the bottom rope. So what do I have to do? I have to jump. Amara. I have to hit her from behind. Some may say it's unfair, but this is how I've been treated consistently by this company. And I'm not going to take it anymore. If I have to put an end to Amara to show how serious I am, that is exactly what I'm going to do. And I'll be damned if anyone thinks they can step in my way. Slapping around the face, but <laughs> no, it's not me. Oh, 
Come on, Joe, I know you're timid. The thing they need to realise, though, is that there are quite a few people in the war zone that will want to smack him in the mouth. Yeah. Hang on, what's he wearing? That t-shirt looks far too big. <laughs> is that? Yeah, we were expecting Joe Lando, but it won't be just Joe in this match, Nick. No, but... That almost looks like a... I can't see because the ropes are annoying, but that is a massive t-shirt. Well, Joe's gone back there. Looks like he's wearing a dress. Hang on a minute. It's Berlin! What? Um... What? No, 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 no! Yeah? What are you talking about? Yeah, I am. Roxy, where are you? I don't need to beat them up. No, this is not! <laughs> Please. <laughs> Wait, Bullet doesn't look like he was expecting this. No, but that, that, that won't stop it. Okay, right there, back to our very first main event. Corey McRae took on Bullet. Wasn't successful, but it was one hell of a war, and Bullet showed the uh, the walls and exactly what he's made of. And I mean, was, Bullet could have just been the first person that, that, that Joe saw when he came through the uh, the curtain. We're talking about coming through the curtain, he just went straight through our tag team champions. <laughs> and there goes Taylor Essex. So it looks like it looks like we have ourselves a, uh, our main event this week. And I'll repeat, folks, this is for the World War Wrestling Tag Team Championships. Oh, and Torino just got launched across the ring like a sack of spuds. Now, don't get me wrong, but it's a lovely bloke. Got all the time in the world for him, but. So you think it might have wound him up a bit that he didn't know too much about um, I mean, we, he loves to fight. I mean, he, like you say, he's a good bloke. Joe Lando was, uh, was in, in need. And yeah, a friend in need is a friend indeed. And he's found a friend in Bullet. That's a good friend to have. It's literally a case of my brother will get you. Yeah. <laughs> but I just love that. It's like, I want you to beat them up. And I mean, that's a very simple strategy. Simple but effective. I know it's a weaponry club, but it is just a case of point and shoot and enjoy. <laughs> yeah, right now, Jack Trin is in the crosshairs. You'll have to give, forgive me for playing cheerleader here, but Taylor needs to hit him too. <laughs> impartiality, Nick, impartiality. We're sports journalists here. Hit him. <laughs> Tag made. And this is the thing there, the rebellion, they weren't expecting Bullet. They were cocky enough to go into this, you know, e expecting to do well, but... Well, knowing that we have the depth of roster that we do in World War Wrestling, would you not bear things like that in mind? That oh, the moonsault arm drag from Joe Lando. That men the size of Bullet do exist on our roster. Head scissors take over. I mean, you've got Bullet, who's a oh, big man oh man with a human being. You've he, got he Brett the Craft Meadows on our roster. You've got the Dark oh, War. Right. Shooting oh, star. One, two. That was a shooting star. That, was, that wasn't a moon song. Come on, Joe, you got it. The other one might have been earlier, I don't know, yeah. but anyway. But who, who's got, who, who would get that wrong, honestly? That was such a simple mistake. Definitely not a mastermind in commentary. Oh, here we see some tag team synergy from the Rebellion. Oh wait, but Joe lands on his feet. Sends Jack Torino to the outside. Boot up for Taylor Essex. Irish whip. Joe floats over. Oh look at that. Back spring. Oh, what a bicycle knee. So the Rebellion need to get their heads back in the game because what they need to remember it's the fact this is for the Oh my goodness! Will that be enough to win the belt? One, two! This match is for the WWW Tag Team Championships. How many times did Joe Lando just corkscrew there? I, I, that was insane. I lost him. You made me dizzy. It must give yeah. you a certain degree of confidence by yeah. knowing that you could just look over to your corner and see <laughs> Bullet, that yeah. oh, yeah. I'm ready to go just to hurt people. Tag was made, but I don't know if Joe Lando saw the tag, it was behind his back. 
Oh, basement drop kick. Oh, the basement boot. Oh my goodness. And you're not legal at six. You made the tag. And that is why Good we have by the ref. That is why we have Cody Double, our referee, folks. Nothing gets past him. Oh. Apart from uh, apart from Slice Bitson's foot on the way. But anyway, we, yeah, well, I'm sure that'll be addressed yeah. at some point. And look at this, you do not want to poke the bear. No, fair play to our referee though, trying to hold him back. I don't know how effective it'll be, but he's trying. Good methodology by our tag team champions, doesn't you expect from them? Literally isolating the smaller Lando. But then again, would you really want to fight a much larger bullet, even if there are two of you? Come on. Let's go. Yeah, bullet being the cheerleader, as it were. Come on. You know? Definitely the big brother looking over Joe Lando. And no, this part, the rebellion wants nothing to do with Bullet. Yeah, Keep him in that corner that. away. Ah. Let's think right now. Taylor Essex knows he can beat Joe Lando. You take it like a man! One, two, three! Big as Bullet is, he's useless on the outside of the ring. He is just a cheerleader, that's the problem. Joe Lando fighting back. Come on, Joe. Every time Joe Lando starts to mount an offense, so they just put him down hard. Tag made. Oh, Opening those ribs up. Oh, look at this. Bullet ready for the tag, but Taylor Essex just slams on the brakes. And again, they're cutting the ring in half, Nick. And this really is Tag Team Wrestling 101. Cut the ring in half. Oh, that second time lucky. And this is the thing, you notice this in Taylor Essex's first, you know, opening match in the very first episode of Battle of the Barns 2020. And, uh, as soon as they make a mistake in the rebellion, that just angers them even more. They come back and they come back more vicious, more full of venom to hit it with even more, even more pain and, uh, and, and disrespect. And we saw that again there from the drift of Jack Serena. Absolutely. I mean, when you've got tag teams such as the Rebellion that work so well together as part of a tag team, it's based on obviously a common understanding, a chemistry of sorts. But you say about the viciousness, they both have it. Yeah. It's that in common that bonds them. I mean, Torino, look, look on his face like, go on, kid, reach for it, you could do it, go on. And then nice. that happens. Yeah. Just goading him, taunting him, and now just stomping the back of his head into the canvas. Well, it's taking the t-shirt off, he's had enough. Yeah, that means he needs business now, he's seen enough. If Lando's able to get that close to him, if he's able to make the tag, God help the rebellion. Come on, Joe. The problem is though that if he's an inch away from Bullet, he's still an inch away from Bullet. An inch might as well be a mile in this match, especially when the Rebellion are firing on all cylinders. Said earlier about Ross. Oh, oh my goodness, turned him inside out. Yeah. One, two. You said about the court screws earlier. Yeah, that's too bad. that was just, well, unintentional though. That was one flip, but that was, uh, that was enough. Again, straight back to the corner, the furthest distance away from Bullet. Yeah, divide and conquer right now, they're isolating the smaller man. Oh, wait, boot up, boot up. Elbow for Torino. Turning up into the corner. Oh, looking to make the tie. Fingertips away. Fingertips away, but as you said, it's still fingertips too far to make that tag. But Nick, can you imagine? The few oh, oh my God! Up. Hell of a kick off the jaw, Jack Torino. Tag me! In on the wall! Take the wall! Oh, the huge shoulder tackle! Make it two! Taylor Essex there, completely unaware that Bullet had been tagged in. That's the game buster! And right now, it's a Bullet train and the Rebellion are on the tracks. That body drop, Torino, onto Essex. Oh, and there goes. There goes Jack Torino, dumped to the outside. Could this be the first defense the Rebellion have in the tag belts in the night? They lose them. How embarrassing would that be for the Rebellion? How good would it be for Lando and Bullet? Two! Asik gets his shoulder up. Barely. 
Oh, yeah. Attack made to Joe Lando, but I'll be honest, Nick, I don't think Joe's ready. He needed more time to recover, I think. Oh. I think Bullet's done enough damage on his own to make it worthwhile. Oh, look at that. Teamwork from Torino. Oh, wait, wait. Bullet goes up and out to the outside. And again, that leaves, that leaves Lando isolated inside the ring. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What, what they're going to do. Buckle Bomb. Oh, Buckle Bomb ends the Geary combo take, meal. Take, 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 take. The tag's made. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Bullet's got him. Bullet's got Torino. Meanwhile, in the ring. Looks like Taylor was going for the fidget oh, spinner. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Bullet caught him. Bullet caught him. He managed to block it somehow, some way. Taylor between a rock and a hard place here. Loyalty to his mate, but. Oh, oh. Taylor Essex oh. with a suicide dive over the top. Tope con Hilo from Essex. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's one way to fall the big guy, though. Nick, are you seeing what I, do you see what I see? They're taking their eyes off Lando. Joe Lando is up on his feet. The rebellion on the outside. Uh-oh. Springs up. Oh, my goodness, dives off to both members of the rebellion. And all four men are down on the outside, Nick. And all, you, and all you've got left in the ring is the ref and the tag belts. Come on. This is nuts! Ah. All four men literally putting their bodies on the line for those gold belts. Who God. is going to call themselves the best oh. after the Battle of the Barns tonight? Dang. Who's going to be able to walk out oh. after the yeah. Battle of the Barns tonight? <laughs> so what happens then if the referee reaches 10? Oh. The Rebellion obviously returned, yeah. but neither that's, of these two the, proud teams are one. Oh. That's, that's the champion's advantage right there, Nick. They don't have to pin or submit. Lando will bullet if they want to retain those belts. All four men back on their feet though, two on the inside, two on the outside. Torino just launching bullets straight into that guardrail once more. He's instructing Torino onto the top. Slingshot. Oh my goodness! Leg sweep combo. One, two, kick out at two. With that high fly nature of Joe Lando though, the best thing they could have done is do what they've done really, isolate that wheel. And Joe Lando's looking in a lot of, lot of pain right now. Even if no lasting damage is done, the damage they're actually, what are they going for here? Wheelbarrow, oh, we're looking for a... Oh, wheelbarrow! 4G! 4G! One, Torino's completely off! Oh, but in comes Bullet. Recovered at the, at the last second to save his tag team partner. I'd love to see the bottom pull its boot though, so it looks like it's got Torino's face in front. Oh, Snake Eyes! Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, big clothesline in the corner. All right, well, it's angry. You wouldn't like him when he's angry. You oh, wouldn't like him when he's calm. Big back elbow. Two for Torino. Peel him off the turn, Michael Pads. Pull it straight. Oh, basement clothesline. One, two. Yes. Kick out at two. I know I'm probably talking it up here, but Bullet would look good with his golden shoulder. I think so. We <laughs> say, Joe. Taylor Essex on the outside. Joe. You with me? Somewhat with it on the, <laughs> on the apron. Yeah, Joe Lando does not look in any shape to be part of this match right now. Looks like Torino would do anything to be out of this match right now. This onslaught for Bullet. Running Bulldog. One, two, kick out at two. Bullet's just picking apart through there at this point. Is Lando with it yet? That shot there from Torino sending him clear to the outside. Lando's back at his feet, that's good, that's good. What's going to happen next, though? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. Incoming! Oh, look! Torino out at the last second. He's tempting. Torino kept it. Oh, spear! Spear from Torino. Big man off his feet. I think that was the most force that Torino's put into one of his spears, but it had to be to knock Bullet off his feet. Lando now with Torino in the corner. 
And those shots hard against the chin. Bullet lay on the outside. Lando with him on the top rope. You got it. Awful man leaving it all out there right now. What's Lando going for here? He's obviously going for something. Bullet's poison ready. They seem to have overlooked Taylor Essex on the outside though. Oh, they definitely overlooked Taylor Essex on the outside. Oh, spear! Spear! The referee didn't see it. There was a belt to the back of the head. Uh oh, this looks more like it's going to be. Let's do a 5G. Oh my goodness. That's the 5G. Bullet can't One, do anything. Two, three. Bullet couldn't do anything because he just had the tag team title wrapped right around the back of his skull. And still, the World War Wrestling Tag Team Champions, the Rebellion. Yeah, by cheating. Nick, that was one hell of a match. All four men put it all on the line, but yeah, another belt shot means the rebellion retain. Someone needs to check on Bully. He just had a belt wrapped around the back of his skull. I'm not saying Lando didn't suffer any worse, any worse but. And that closes out another episode of Battle of the Bars 2020. Bully's back on his feet, but. What a close that was! Bullet making a human shield of himself between him and Lando after Lando took that 5G. But Bullet can't be 100% himself after taking that shot. Episode 4. The Rebellion still the tag team champions. But I'm going to get in there and uh, check on Joe Lando. We'll see you next week. Thank you very much.